Hi, Bill Edstrom here. Today I'm taking a look at Traction 5. Now T5 has a lot of new features, including MIDI Learn. The MIDI Learn functionality has a button right down here in the control panel area under the transport controls. And if you click this, you'll see it pops open this that allows you to map your external MIDI controller. If you have buttons and knobs on your controller, you can map it to these functions. Well, you might not have realized you could map it to just about anything, and so I'm going to show you kind of how that works. Let's start with a plug-in, because that's one of the first things I want to do for creative control, is to map the knobs and stuff on my controller to a plug-in so that I can creatively move filters and things like that. Now, before you do that, you need to actually get your controller set up as a control surface. I'm using a little Akai LPD-8 for this example. If you go into the Settings tab, you'll see you have your audio and MIDI devices. I set up my LPD-8 as a MIDI device, and that actually didn't do it. You have to set it up as a control surface. So let's go into the control surface and do Create New Custom Control Surface. So I just clicked that, and it just asked me, do I want to do it and give it a name? Well, I'm going to call it LPD-8, since it is an Akai LPD-8, and click OK. And then down here in this informational area, you need to assign the MIDI input. This would be from the driver. I've already installed the driver, so I'm just going to click here. Now with that done, I can actually start to map things. So that's the first step, is to actually tell Traction that that controller is there and assign it to an input. Now back into my edit here, let me just play this back. All right, so I've got an experimental little loop going here, and I've already assigned some filters or some plugins into the mixer area on this riff channel. So let's take a look. Right here, this is the Sonic EQ Pro, and what I want to do is assign my knobs. I'm going to assign a couple knobs off this controller. We'll use K7 and K8. These are just some rotary knobs. I'm going to assign it to the high and the low pass filter so I can play around with the settings really easily. So let's just go into MIDI Learn. I'll turn that on. That opens this. Now all we need to do is wiggle the knob we want to assign on the plugin. So right now I just move this just a little bit. That's the high pass filter. And I'm going to move the knob K7 that I want to assign it to. And you can see the assignment's been made right up here. Now let's assign something else. So I do this. I'm wiggling the high pass filter knob on the plugin, and it says parameter waiting to be assigned. So now I'm going to touch K8, and now you can see that's assigned. Now, you won't see any movement until you actually turn MIDI Learn back off. So let's do that. And now if I twist the knob, you can see I can control my high pass filter from the high pass knob, and I can control the low pass filter from the knob K7. And I'm going to go ahead and map the drive control. So I'm going to go back into MIDI Learn, Move the drive control a little bit. I'm going to twist K6, and that'll be the drive control. Turn MIDI Learn back off, and now I've got hardware control of that. So I'm going to play back and twist those knobs. All right, so that's a lot of fun. So that's how you basically map the controls on a plugin. So what about mapping controls of the actual program itself? Well, that's pretty easy. Let's map zoom to some of the pads. Now I want to go into the controller mode on the Akai on the LPD-8, and I do that by hitting the CC button, and that makes the pad send out control data instead of sending out notes. And so that's what we want to do in order to map these two functions within this program. So we'll go into MIDI Learn. This works kind of similar. So I'm going to say zoom in is my first pad. Actually, it'll be pad 5, which is the upper pad. So I click here, and you can see it's waiting to be assigned. I'll click that pad, and now it's listening. Now I'll click the down one, or the down zoom, or zoom out, and then hit the other pad, and now that should be assigned. So now I'm going to hit the pads up and down, and I've got my vertical zooming assigned to pads and I can really assign any function I want. Now, one thing that can be a little bit weird is that you can actually assign the same pad to multiple things. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I'm going to assign also zooming horizontally to the same pad. So I'll click here, assign that, and then I'll click over here and assign 
this one. So now I'll be zooming in in both dimensions at the same time. Maybe you want to do this, probably not, but I'll show you how to recover from that. So see, I can, get, I can be zooming in and out. So it's kind of cool that you can assign multiple things to the same pad, but it's often also not really probably what you wanted to do. So I'm going to show you how to clear that situation. And you do that in the settings page, right back under the control surface on this controller, you can see you can edit the control mappings. And right here, you can see where we did our assignments. We've got zoom tracks in and zoom in, both assigned to controller five. So if we didn't want to do both of those, then you can go up here and just delete this. So you just highlight the one that you don't want and hit delete. You can highlight this and hit delete. Now, the other thing is that not every function that you might want to map is actually represented on that little pop-up. So if you wanted to assign something else that's not on that pop-up, like maybe the home key or something like that, then you can click right here and you can choose from all kinds of actions that you can assign. So if we wanted to assign transport home to one of these controller buttons, we can just click right here and we've made that assignment. Now back over in the project, if I drop the cursor anywhere in here, just drop the cursor out here and I want to do home, I've assigned that to one of these buttons. So it's really quite flexible. You can pretty much assign anything to anything. You can assign these as well. So if I wanted to assign one of these to a knob, I'm going to assign this to K5 on the controller, this fader for this channel. All I need to do is hit MIDI Learn and then click this, select volume, and now it's listening. I turn it and I've already got the assignment done. Turn MIDI Learn off and you can see now I've got mix control for the volume on that particular channel. So this MIDI Learn, quick MIDI Learn is a really powerful feature in Traction 5. I hope this overview gives you an idea of how it works. Visit my website for more things that are up with me. Check out my books and other videos through Groove 3, and I'll talk to you again soon.